Hello again, I'm Grant Abbott, you're watching Gabbett Media, and we're doing Sculpt January number 30, and the topic today was pride. So I've done a dog who is very proud of himself. Uh, I do find that uh, dogs are great for that, aren't they? Uh, they sort of stand up, chest out, uh, when they're sitting down. Um, they, they really want you to love them. That's what's great about dogs. I have a dog, as you probably know if you watch my videos. I occasionally mention him. Uh, because sometimes he's sitting down next to me when I'm doing the videos. Anyway, uh, he's, he's very much um, wanting to please. Lovely uh, creature that he is. Anyway, uh, on to the actual dog. I got uh, the blob out and just started sculpting away. This time I did it slightly differently because I thought um, I could sketch out um, on a piece of paper what I want this dog to look like. And I didn't have many reference images. I had a few, um, just from sort of cartoon dogs, um, but it was hard to find cartoon dogs that looked proud. Um, didn't, it's a difficult thing to search for. Um, and um, I wanted to um, have my own style of dog rather than just copying uh, Scooby-Doo or whoever it is. Uh, so um, I thought I'd sketch out a few and uh, what better way than to sketch out on the computer. So you can see my first iteration there and um, I thought what I'll do is I'll sketch out a few designs and then um, decide on which one I'm going to use. Uh, like thumbnails in a way but actually on the um, uh, uh, sculpted thumbnails as it were. So thumbnails are really important uh, for artists um, if you if you're not aware of that, most people probably are. But um, before uh, people do any sort of concept art, they do lots of th uh, thumbnails uh, showing uh, different ideas and then they choose one of those. And it is so much better to do that. I've talked about that with poses as well. Um, I do at least three poses, which is not enough by any means, but because Sculpt January is so um, rigorous in terms of time, uh, then uh, doing um, a few sort of tests like that just to make sure uh, makes a big difference and it's always uh, when I go to extreme poses uh, that's, that's the one I tend to choose. I say extreme poses, they're not even that extreme but your first pose is never extreme enough. Uh, it's quite strange so your first iteration, your first go is just never quite right and it's usually near your last one uh, where you're formulating your ideas completely uh, that you decide on your shape and design. So I kind of work through and it becomes more a progression really uh, because I think, oh, well, what will it look like if I do this? What will it look like if I do that? And um, so I've uh, sort of copied all these different shapes across uh, so you can sort of see um, the progress that's happening. Uh, occasionally I do uh, look at my reference images so there is a pause um, and maybe find a new one uh, just thinking all right how how do they do cartoon dog faces and how do they uh, link together so where the the smile line is and there's a sort of a lump at the end there um, it's obviously dogs don't look anything like this so getting reference Im images of dogs uh, didn't particularly help me uh, but cartoon dogs did so looking at other artists and how they'd interpreted uh, this and also, um, that becomes the norm, doesn't it? As soon as one artist does it, so like Disney, uh, that then everybody kind of copies them for that expression or uh, that, those sort of characteristics. And that becomes what cartoon dogs look like. Uh, so uh, that uh, was my inspiration with sort of Disney um, cartoon dogs. I did look at uh, Ren and Stimpy as well, because uh, They've got uh, some funny expressions. I've talked about Ren and Stimpy before, I think, but they have a lot of funny expressions and um, excited and exaggerated poses. So um, I was thinking maybe for my extreme pose, I might do Ren um, or Stimpy in one of their extreme poses uh, as they have, which are quite fun. Uh, this took only about 45 minutes recording time, so uh, probably an hour and a half or something like that. Um, so it's quite a nice quick one, uh, but I, I kind of needed that. Um, so I, I went for the sort of cartoon uh, fun style, didn't go for a character this time. Um, I suppose it is a character, but it's, um, it's a blobbed character, so there's no rigging or um, sorting of uh, asymmetry and stuff like that. Uh, I, I mean, I could have gone with uh, some asymmetry and it may have helped and may have made the um, dog look a bit better but um, I'm quite happy with the symmetry in this one it's kind of just um, 
fun being symmetrical. It could even be used as a 3D printout. It's quite a, a fun little character. Uh, could go quite nicely like that. Uh, still, still doing a bit of experimenting at the moment, um, pushing things around, just getting that shape um, how I think it works best. <laughs> Obviously, there's no hard and fast rules about this, but um, there, there's sort of you just know, don't you, um, as you get better um, as an artist, and I'm obviously still uh, working on it, but you just sort of know what positions and shapes start to, you start to know what positions and shapes work and uh, look right and forms that feel comfortable and correct. But you can see actually with the hind leg, I raised the middle of it up for some weird reason. I went back and sorted it out later. I'm not sure why I did that, but so I'm still learning, as you can tell. So um, I just keep working through, uh, keep smartening up now, and I think I've sort of decided on this particular pose and shape. The last three sort of iterations of my um, uh, development log at the back there um, were pretty similar, so um, I just sort of tend to uh, work on this one now. Um, regularly saving as well. I mean, obviously, if you regularly save, then you can go back to one of your models. But in this case, it was so low poly that I could just uh, have them in the scene and be able to see what I had been working on and where I started and whether I wanted to change my designs. Initially, I was going to have a very big face and really, really big teeth. But then uh, the shape just sort of worked better with the proud chest sticking out because that's what we associate with pride, the sort of chest out um, idea for some reason. And it's sort of based on um, human... Um, interactions and poses and things it does does make sense <laughs> when I, I'm starting to babble uh, at this point uh, <laughs> I'm pretty I'm a little bit tired now uh, it's very early in the morning for me so we are uh, just uh, just before six uh, and I've got to get up it's got to go to work you see so I need to record the video uh, before going off ideally so I don't think about it all day <laughs> and then I can if I get the chance at lunchtime which is um, digital art club today so I will get a chance to work on tomorrow's at lunchtime uh, which would be nice I can get some plans together and draw some uh, sketches or something like that um, just to get some ideas uh, so having fun even at work having fun it's quite nice I'm very lucky in my job <laughs> I, I can feel myself doing a sort of uh, ramble on about something completely unrelated. I suppose it is related, but it's not completely related. Uh, so I've upped the resolution. What am I now? I'm at 150 and it felt like, oh, am I going too far? But it's, again, I'm not that high poly. Um, it does say the tries there are up to, they are over a million actually, uh, more than I thought. Uh, but uh, it's it's not lagging, it's, it's performing well. And I've really, I've, um, talking to different people, um, Ian S I think it is, and other people who have been advising me um, on the YouTube channel. Uh, they've been talking about uh, the workflow and going to multi-resolution modifier and those sort of things. And quite a few people have said this. And I was talking about going to ZBrush or ZBrush uh, last week, perhaps. It was just a sort of passing comment more than anything, but I, it's something I have been thinking about. I always think about it. Should I go across to that professional sof software instead of Blender? But uh, most were advising me not to uh, and saying um, there's not that much more to it, but it's probably is better uh, and that's fair enough. But uh, most were saying if you get the multi-resolution workflow right, then you can go up to 20 million uh, faces um, fairly comfortably. Uh, without lag because you're not adding topology and that I mean obviously um, I've known that for a while but uh, it sort of cements it when you discuss it with people so it does help to go on to uh, forums and chat to people and um, have people advise you and to confirm what you're thinking in your head um, but it's just that choice of when to go across and it is a time-consuming process because you have to re-topologize in order to make the most of that uh, so re-topologize um, then shrink wrap it to your original and um, up the resolution uh, so and this this sort of thing I had ideas about but um, the people sort of um, talking to people on YouTube uh, really helped me to um, f uh, like I say cement those ideas uh, which I was uh, very grateful of so there's the final piece I'm happy with it I think it's good fun and uh, interesting um, and uh, I could have done more with the lighting, could have done some text painting, but um, running out of time. Oh, back in a second, I forgot the Discord. 
And we're back, sorry, I forgot to put the Discord server stuff on. Uh, so let's have a quick look at that now. Yeah, there we go. Uh, lovely stuff again. Uh, this is a really interesting harpy from Mr. M, I think it is. And uh, the head is really nicely positioned and posed and a really good model of the head. The, the model, the, <laughs> the body is quite sort of blobby and weird, uh, but great work. Uh, a hamburger, I think this one was fat. Um, for a fat, fat hamburger, a fanburger. <laughs> <laughs> what am I talking about now? This one I absolutely loved and I forgot to look who it was again. That's annoying. I saw this one on Facebook as well on the group. It looks really great. I decided to show the video for a change. Uh, really nice. I like the clean, crisp lines. Uh, so it's a nice, completed model, but it just looks very detailed, but not, it, they haven't gone over detailed. They've just got everything right in this one. That's lovely work. Um, yeah, really nice piece there. So. Uh, Really well done to you guys. And uh, thank you again for all the support, the discussion that I've had with people. And it's been tremendous and I really appreciate it. Uh, so I will see you next time.